Today's Chiefs postgame show is presented by Magic Spoon. Get $5 off the best and the tastiest and the healthiest cereal at magicspoon.com slash Chiefs. We'll tell you a little bit more about them a little bit later on in the show. It's magicspoon.com slash Chiefs. Get $5 off your first order. Wow, what a disaster this was for the Kansas City Chiefs as they lose to the Tennessee Titans 27-3. The Chiefs fall to 3-4 and four on the season. The Titans improve to 5-2. and two. Patrick Mahomes wasn't very good. The Chiefs' defense was even worse. And you add it all up, and it's just another ugly loss. I mean, first game of Patrick Mahomes' career that they don't score a touchdown in the regular season. It happened in the Super Bowl. Now it's happened in a regular season as well as the Chiefs fall 27-3. What's your one-word reaction? I mean, what is your one-word reaction to this game? Disaster? Tragic? Embarrassing? Give me your one-word reaction to this game for the Kansas City Chiefs. Angry? Frustrated? What is it? I mean, there's so many words. Just pick one. Let me know down in the comments what it is. My one word, this is an embarrassment. This is embarrassing. I mean, I get the Titans are a good football team and that the Chiefs are struggling, but Kansas City was still a five-point favorite, and they lost 27-3, to and I don't think it was that close. The Titans didn't score in the second half. They just ran the clock out. This was an absolute embarrassment for Kansas City. So my one word is embarrassing. Let me know what your one word is down in the comments. I have a lot to get to, a lot of ranting to do. Do want to mention Mahomes did get banged up late in this game. I think he's okay. Uh, got Took a knee to the helmet, got evaluated in the medical tent, was walking around on the sideline after that. I assume he's fine. We'll see what Andy Reid says after the game. I think he's okay. He got rocked uh, several times because uh, the Chiefs could not block for most of this game. This offensive line that they invested so heavily in has been very inconsistent, to say the least. Luckily, I think Mahomes will be fine, but – uh, as far as um, that blow he took late in the game, you, you never want to see that, especially when you're getting blown out. Luckily, I think he will be okay. Uh, what is your concern level, though, with Patrick Mahomes' injury? Scale it from 1 to 10. 1 being you're not concerned at all, 10 being you're panicking. I'm at like a 2 or 3. It's your, it's your $500 million quarterback, so obviously there's some concern. But uh, I do think overall he's going to be okay, uh, which is obviously very good news. The only good news coming out of this game because, like I said, this was just this was an absolute embarrassment. The way the Titans just ran this team over, uh, it's just it's not good, folks. It's not good at all. Patrick Mahomes wasn't good either. You know, we're glad he's okay, but he did not play well. Twenty of thirty-five, two hundred and six yards, uh, no turno no touchdowns. By the way two turnovers, so we'll have to fix that afterwards. No touchdowns for Patrick Mahomes in two turnovers. Mahomes really struggled. Let's just call it what it is. He absolutely struggled in this one. Three points, three points, two bad turnovers, uh, a fumble, and he forced an interception. It's just there's so much wrong with this team right now. I, I can't. I don't even know where to start. I don't know if it, you start with the offense, the defense. I'm all over the place because – you have a struggling football team in so many areas. So many areas. It's just, it's hard to comprehend. It's very, very hard to understand where the blame falls. Is it coaching? Is it Mahomes? Is it the defense? I think the defense is the biggest problem, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. But Mahomes very much struggled in this game at a very, very bad rate. And uh, he's got to get better quickly, especially with how this defense is playing. So hopefully he does. I'm glad he's okay. But 27-3, to three, no points. Wow, that's just very, very bad. Subscribe to the Chiefs Report, the latest Chiefs news, rumors, mailbags, and more videos all year long. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button over at youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. By the way, we are going live tomorrow on Monday, 4 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Central Time, for our very first Chiefs Report Live. Our first live that was not a watch party or a breaking news situation. So stay tuned for that. We'll answer your questions uh, when you guys uh, join us live. So uh, spread the word, and uh, let's make it a party, because I want to go live every single week on Mondays at 4 o'clock Eastern and 3 o'clock Central Time. You look at the Chiefs' offense as a whole – not very good. Most of this in garbage time. Two, 333 total, 256 passing. We saw Chad Henney 
drive them down late. And, of course, McCole Hardman fumbled, so another three turnover game. Uh, only 77 rushing yards, but they just didn't really have the opportunity because they were down so big so early in this one. Third and fourth down, 5 of 14, not very good. Again, the three turnovers, just bad. The offense was terrible. I, I mean, the offense isn't good, I mean, right now. It's very inconsistent. Sure, it moves the ball, but it didn't really today. And the turnovers are just – it's just – Guys, they're turning it over three ga three times a game. I mean, this team never turned the ball over last year, basically, and now they're doing it three times a week. So, very turnover prone. Uh, you score three points against. By the way, Tennessee's defense is not that good. It's okay. It's not that good. This offense stunk today. I mean, Tennessee kicked this team's ass. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. This was never close, and the offense has got to play cleaner football. Otherwise, you know. Maybe this team doesn't make the playoffs. Who knows? Uh, I think there's a lot to prove between now and next week. Magic Spoon doesn't have anything to prove because they have the best cereal on the open market, and you guys can get $5 off this high-protein, low-carb, and sugar-free uh, cereal. Zero grams of sugar, that is correct. That is also sweet and delicious. Go try out their different flavors at magicspoon.com slash chiefs. I'm rocking with the cocoa. You can try the cinnamon. You can try the blueberry, the frosted. Uh, they have seasonal flavors as well. I'm sure they'll come up with a winter or a Christmas theme one uh, very soon, so check that out. Magicspoon.com slash chiefs. Get $5 off. We'll have that link in the comments and, of course, in the description. Okay, the Chiefs' defense against Tennessee. Uh, the You're thinking, all oh, 369. It's not terrible. Doesn't tell the story. 27 points in the first half. That's just bad, guys. They didn't even score in the second half. Uh, passing yards, 266. Tannehill was carving them up. Rush yards, decent job there, actually. But third and fourth down got killed, 8 of 12. Only one takeaway. That was a good play by Willie Gay Jr., but the game was well out of reach at that point. Defense was also bad. I mean, it, better in the second half, but Tennessee's just running the clock out. I mean... I think they could have aired it out and thrown for 450 on Kansas City in this game, but the game was already out of reach, so they didn't even need to do that. So the offense, bad. The defense, bad. Overall, just bad. I mean, Harrison Butker, I know it was a long kick, but he missed his first field goal of the year. Nothing was good today. Tommy Townsend had a nice punt. He had a nice punt in this game, but, I mean, there was nothing good. Nothing good whatsoever. How about this? Should the Chiefs fire Steve Spagnuolo? I'm not saying it's all on him and it's all on the defense, but I feel like this is one of those where it's like, doesn't something have to change here? Something has to change to spark this team. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Should the Chiefs fire, fire Spags? Get your votes in down in the comments. Ryan Tannehill was great, you know, 21 to 27, 276, uh, 270, one touchdown, one pick, very efficient, very sharp. Um, hit his open man. The one pick was really just a great play by Gay Jr. Never saw him. Um, he was good. He outplayed Mahomes. There's no doubt about that. I will say Derrick Henry was actually fairly contained. 29 carries, 86 yards. I thought the Chiefs actually did a good job on him. Held him to right at three yards per carry. Uh, but overall, which was nice. Yeah, I mean, if you told me you held Henry to under three yards a carry, I'd be like, Chiefs won this game, man. Like, you know, Tannehill will beat you on some plays, but you probably win this game. Uh, how about you get your ass kicked 27-3, to even in a game where Derrick Henry is held in check. So, again, just overall bad. I can only harp on it so much. The Chiefs lose 27-3 to to fall to 3-4. and four. Uh, It's not a fluke at this point. We're seven games into the season. This team's not good. Not right now. I'm not saying it can't change, but we can't just be like, oh, the, the Chiefs will wake up. It's seven weeks of this, guys. Even some of their wins haven't been pretty. They skated by the Browns. They gave up 30 points to the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, Washington sucks, so who cares about that game? And by the way, they were down at the half in that one. And now you get blown out for the second time in three weeks. Buffalo a couple weeks ago at home, and now Tennessee on the road, 27-3. That Buffalo game was 38-20. to That game wasn't close either. I mean, the thing about Mahomes is, yeah, he's lost games. He's never been blown out. He's been blown out twice now this year. Three times dating back to the Super Bowl. It's just, overall, it's just not a good situation whatsoever for the Kansas City Chiefs. So they lose it 27-3. to I mean, I'd like to think they'll beat the Giants next week, but I can't say I'm super, super confident. Predict the score for me between the Chiefs and the Giants. Let me know who you think is going to win, and also let me know uh, who uh, you got winning. So predict the score, and that'll do it for us here at the Chiefs Report.